we can't tell you how many times we have customers come in and say, when I was in Europe, I had this great cheese. And you know what we love even more? Is to show them that cheese or something similar right here at Zabar's in New York City. So we've made a cheese plate that we've called Old World Charm. Some of those great cheeses that are so memorable you come home wanting to eat more of them. And we thought we'd share them with you. The first one is Florette. Um, in classification purposes, it's probably a goat brie. It is wonderfully creamy, buttery, nice, lovely texture to it. And absolutely wonderful for about anything, whether that's baking, uh, on bread for breakfast, Mario. or even Mario. serving as a dessert as well. Especially for goat lovers who are looking for something soft with maybe a little bit more flavor. Next is Chimay. It's a, yet another version of the Trappist cheeses, and yet this is made by those famous monks in Belgium who also make the great beer. This cheese is full flavored, yet not too strong. A little meaty and beefy. Wonderfully addictive. Great with a nice beer, perhaps even a Chimay, just like from the monastery. We think the monks would like it. Next is Pecorino Rossellino. It's important to note that all Pecorinos come from Italy. So actually all sheep's milks are Pecorinos that are made in Italy. This one is a little more unique because it's washed in red tomato paste, giving it a little more red uh, rind, a little more sweetness. The texture is not as hard or dry as sometimes they can be. It's not nearly as salty. And it actually tends to be sweet and nutty. We find it one of our favorites for something if you're looking just to snack or perhaps remembering all those great pecorinos you had in the markets of Italy. Last is Prima Donna, the classic aged Goudas of Holland are recognizable the world over. This Prima Donna is aged about 18 months. It's got that creamy texture, not as dry as perhaps something aged longer, yet the crystals or crunchiness are still there. It's got an underlying sweetness and yet a salty sharp finish. Truly a great snacking cheese and a reminder of a great trip to Europe. So come on by and let us see if we can show you something great that perhaps you tried in Europe and now can try in New York City.